Hi, and welcome back. So this is the third part of the um, chat and build stroke paint video series. Um, and I'm continuing to paint the Imperial Space Marine, uh, as you can see there. Um, it sort of um, dried completely overnight and so on. It looks quite nice. Um, yeah, in, in relation to the model, actually, I'm quite happy with the, the way the colours and stuff have come out on there now. So it's um, time to move on to um, the uh, different colours and so on. So um, so what I was going to do is just move, move them out of the way for a minute. And I wanted to show you um, my... Um, sort of um, Death Guard army that I painted um, about sort of two years, two and a half years ago um, and it's basically the sort of first set of models I did um, getting back into the hobby um, at that time so um, these these were originally models I, I collected back in um, back when I was at school and so on uh, and then obviously life, life happened and then obviously um, uh, it, it was time to get back into the Horace Horace Heresy uh, once once the uh, books came along and so on. So um, yeah, so I originally started off by um, having quite a lot of um, lead models. Most of the plastic stuff I actually got rid of um, during the years, but I, I held on to the, the lead ones. Um, so uh, yeah, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, so I managed to um, hold on to the, the lead models and the first thing I did when getting back into the hobby was to strip the models down and repaint them. Uh, originally they were painted off um, as space wolves and bits and pieces there and so on. So uh, I sort of stripped them off and then repainted them and decided to go with um, Death Guard, which was, um, obviously you see quite a lot of Death Guard armies around and so on, but um, it's actually quite hard. Uh, color scheme to, to actually do and uh, the white and so on and um, doing the white model now is, is sort of reminding me very much um, of how difficult the white is to actually get a decent white um, and I, as I said uh, in the previous part of the video and so on um, I, I tended to add quite a bit of uh, green onto these models to sort of give it um, a more, more um, mental allegiance sort of style um, styling and so on so um, you can see to see where I was going with with the bits and pieces so um, show you a quick quick idea of this system on here so he originally was a um, a jet bike um, person for some reason I, I lost a jet bike somewhere around there but I managed to make a conversion out of him he's basically supposed to be a specialist um, sort of captain and so on uh, quite a basic paint paint scheme and when I painted this guy I didn't know anything about um, Agra surf shade and so on so um, yeah basically I might I might add a, a shade and stuff onto him later on or so on in the future so yeah it's basically that guy there um, there's a whole whole squad um, whole squad of tactical marines um, and so on with old style um, missile launcher and so on bits of piece of plastic missile launcher and so on so uh, yeah, that was uh, basically how they worked out, uh, and then I've got a load of uh, lead terminators as well, um, basically on those. Um, and then, as you notice in the background, I've got a lead um, <coughs> dreadnought as well. So um, yeah, um, and you can see from the color scheme of this one, he, he actually looks pretty sort of a <laughs> mental legion, really. So uh, even even the, the shoulder pad. Um, air, air emblem there actually looks a bit like the uh, mental legion um, symbol as it is so um, that's where I was going with that guy so uh, yeah so that was basically where we're going um, well I've sort of um, had a look at the um, the book again and sort of uh, you obviously seen this image and stuff before um, yeah basically I think the um, the green on the mental legion is um, a darker green than say these um, Death Guard over here. So I think um, for for my um, Imperial Space Marine, I think um, I'm going to go down the route of using um, uh, Caliban Green as the, as the green color because I think that's pretty pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close to to the green that's on 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 the Mental Legion there. So um, yeah, so I'm going to be painting the uh, Imperial Space Marine now um, when I've tidied up a little bit. I'm uh, going to come back and add um, a layer of Caliban green in, into into the into the areas, uh, sort of matching the colour scheme 
of the mentor legion on this page okay so um, i'm just going to tidy up the models now and we can come back and start painting all right see you in a minute guys okay hi and welcome back um so i've tidied up now so uh, i've given the the caliban paint a, a, a good shake and so on um so we're ready to go so i'm just going to add um some paint to my palette and so on and sort of load up my brush so that i can uh, to sort of get things working and so on um i've uh, uploaded the um uploaded the first video and so on um and i've had quite a few um interesting responses and so on so far so uh, thank you very much for um commenting on my on my video so far um it's a little bit of an experiment uh, obviously at this stage um to um do a, a painting video like this um, just trying to get used to um, doing things on camera and so on um, where you would be more used to sort of having um, the model a bit nearer to you and so on and sort of being able to to get into interesting areas so um, still experimenting with the um, positioning on stuff of the, of the camera and so on um so at this stage the paint is going on quite nicely um yeah ho hopefully um as i said i don't really want these videos to be super super boring and so on and stuff on there so um the idea is to chat and paint and so on um to be able to make it less less boring and so on so um as i mentioned previously um i was um out of the hobby for quite a good number of years and so on um as often happens um in the case when you when you get older and so on um life comes along and um you sort of lose uh, well you, you don't lose interest in, in in the hobby you sort of have a other bits and pieces um to do whilst you find so and it, it basically um it, it takes uh, a certain event or something to sort of get you back into back into the hobby uh and so on and stuff on there um yeah basically my, mine was the um introduction of the um horus heresy book series and um in case of um me and my brother sort of um rushing through the um the paint uh rushing through the, the book series really um we'd sort of come in come into the book series a couple of years um after they sort of first came out and um so basically uh when I started reading the books and so on um there was actually um uh, about 10 or 12 books out at that time um so i was able to sort of um binge binge read um a load of books and so on have it uh without having to um wait for um uh, new books and stuff to come out so uh, so yeah basically for the, the the next few years it was just a case of sort of binge reading the series uh, and getting up to speed and stuff on on the book series and so on so um yeah it was really good so um yeah i really enjoy reading the um horus heresy books um which is um obviously uh it's finding time to um do certain things as well so it's sort of finding time to read a book or finding time to do hobby stuff uh it's all a sort of balance uh a balancing job and stuff on there as well so um yeah so um as you can see at the moment i'm I'm painting the um the backpack um green um as you might have noticed from the uh the uh the picture and so on that i took from the uh index of Starty's book um yeah he's basically he's got a sort of green green pack uh, green pack pack um and then obviously it'll be a case of just adding a few um metallic areas and so on later on so at the, at this stage is obviously just putting a, a base coat 
of, of the green down and so on um, which obviously um, obviously with the um, adding the, the white layers and stuff on there it's got a nice nice base for it to uh, adhere to and so on so the um, the green base color is going down quite well now um, so that's cool so um, yeah um, yeah thanks for um, making comments on, on the uh, previous video and so on um, it's really cool to, to read some of those product uh, comments and so on uh, it's nice to know that the um, the video wasn't too boring that uh, uh, people were able to make it through the video and so on and uh, yeah so it's uh, it's quite interesting so um, as I said it's a little bit of an experiment really um, just to see how how things would actually if I'll be able to to do such a video um, and so on so I'm just adding it's quite hard to be quite um, quite hard to be sort of very um, steady and precise doing it this method which is um, it's okay to or I suppose it's okay um, because obviously you'll be able to go back later on and um, go over certain areas and so on that I sort of make little mistakes on and so on so uh, yeah so don't expect this to be the um, the greatest painting video in the world obviously um, as it's just just a bit um, uh, just a bit difficult to sort of keep steady and not sort of uh, go over certain areas and so on too much um, yeah so I'm just uh, gonna clean the, the brush a little bit as well sorry uh, I I think I feel like I'm mumbling mumbling a little bit and so on so um uh, yeah bear bear with me guys if I if I if the sound goes a bit low and so on it's just a case of me um mumbling whilst trying to concentrate at the same time um, and now I, in the background I can hear there's a um, a fly there's a fly in the room as well um, which is not going to help matters as well so right so we're up to seven minutes I have to keep an eye on the uh, time as well so I don't run out of the ability to record this video because um, there's a finite amount of time I can record uh, before the memory sort of dies and so on so um, it's one of the reasons I'm doing it in, in, in sections and so on right so um, I think that's most of the green green bits that I need to do on that um, looking quite good at the moment um, obviously got some bits to tidy up and uh, go through on those there so um, as usual I'm gonna stick this in the in the air and cover dry that up quickly uh, and then come back and put another another coat on and so on okay so I'll see you in a minute, minute guys bye okay welcome back um, so that's been in the um, the air and cupboard uh, for a little bit of time now and has uh, dried up um, the green's looking quite nice uh, and stuff on there so um, what I'm going to do is just add another uh, thin layer of um, Caliban green um, onto that and that's probably enough for, for this colour um, for, for this stage really um, so yeah um, so um, you may be wondering why um, I've got Caliban green kicking around and so on um, Caliban green is quite a nice nice base color really um, you can sort of do quite a bit with it um, and so on um, I've always uh, liked dark angels as well I also like the, the fluff of the dark angels and so on but I've never um, actually painted um, dark angels and stuff myself um, 
the main reason is that um, my brother, uh, one of his main armies, uh, Space Marine armies, is uh, Dark Angels. Um, so I basically left all the Dark Angel stuff to him, really, um, just so. Um, so he's he's always been Dark Angels. Um, I've always been Space Space Wolves. Um, so yeah, basically the 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 sort of um, age old rivalry um, of Space Wolves and Dark Angels um, has actually been brought on forward to um, uh, me and my brother as well. So uh, obviously a rivalry between brothers and so on. Uh, Dark Angels, Space Wolves. Um, the um, rivalry between brothers as well, so that's that, that's pretty cool. Um, so so yeah, basically we basically the Dark Angels have always been uh, always been my brothers, uh, Legion and so on, and mine's always been Space Wolves. Um, but uh, in recent years and so on, I've started painting um, other bits and pieces. Obviously, I showed you the other day uh, all the other sort of armies and stuff that I've. Uh, been playing around with and so on so um yeah so obviously De death guard and um crimson fists um and other bits and pieces like that as well so um yeah that that's that's always been a um a cool thing on though so yeah i'm just um adding another thin layer of caliban green on, onto this uh, and then i'll probably add a a wash onto this as well um before i sort of call it a day on this on this particular this color um yeah so i'm sort of splitting these videos up into easy sort of manageable chunks really so so the videos aren't super duper long let me just adjust the focus yeah the focus is going to be difficult because of the the dark color color of the caliban green and so on um uh, i'm struggling to see off camera which um if I've missed any bits or anything like that, I've got a, a fair bit of tidying up work to to do on on, on the colours and stuff on there as well. But um, yeah, I think essentially that's um, that's it really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop the video here for today. Um, so basically, we've got your we've got your whites and we've got the the um, the green section on there. You can see I've got a bit of tidying up work and stuff to do there as well. We can do that later on. Um, so, um, so I was sort of toying with the idea of um, doing um, doing the base or adding a few more prime colours, uh, do, doing the met uh, doing the, the metallics and stuff on on the space marine. So um, I'm toying with, with which way to go next, really. Um, so uh, it's probably going to be a, a few days before I start um, moving on to the next section and so on. So. Um, if i've uploaded this um this is sunday um so if um if you get to this part of the video um please leave a comment in terms of um which way i should go really in terms of uh either going uh painting painting the base um and sort of dry brushing the base to to a, decent, a reasonable standard before I, it gets too difficult to do so or um moving on to the metallics and the base colors and sort of finishing off the the main body of the uh marine and so on okay so um, i'm going to stop the video here guys um thanks for watching as always uh yeah leave leave other comments whatever uh, on there as well and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot bye